Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a closer look what we mean by the first moment of area. Now notice there's another name for it. It's also called the first moment of inertia, which is really an incorrect name, but it's used so we should understand that it's really one and the same thing. The definition of that can be said to be, it is a measure of the distribution of the area of any shape in relation to an axis. For example, here we have two triangles and we're trying to find what we call the first moment of area of each of these two triangles. Notice that the more mass of this triangle is farther away from this axis, from the x-axis, than in this example here. Most of the mass is much closer to the x-axis, which means that on the left side we have a large first moment of area with respect to the x-axis. Compared to this one, we have a small first moment of area with respect to x-axis because most of the mass is much closer to the axis. The first moment of area can also be thought of as the product of the centroid of the area times the area. Since we can say that this would be the distance to the centroid of the area from the x-axis, and this is the area, we can define then that the first moment of area is equal to the integral of y times dA, which is then equal to the area times the distance to the centroid from the x-axis. We can then say that from the first moment of area, we can also calculate the centroid by taking the first moment of area and dividing by the area. So this is really why this is used. A lot of the application is exactly so we can find the centroid by first finding the first moment of area and then dividing it by the area. We can do it with respect to the x-axis and we can do it with respect to the y-axis. Now here's a small example. Let's say that we have a small area here that starts at y equals 2 to y equals 4 and from x equals 0 to x equals 2. So you can see that the area of this, area of this rectangle here, I should say square because it's equal sides, uh, is equal to 2 times 2 or 4 square, and let's say that they're meters. We can find the first moment of area with respect to the x-axis by taking the area, which is 2 times 2, equal to 4, times the distance from the x-axis to the centroid of the area, which is a distance of 3 units, so 2 times 2 times 3 is 12 meters cubed. Remember that the units of the first moment of area is meters cubed. And if we do it with respect to the y-axis, notice again we multiply the area times the distance from the y-axis to the centroid, which in this case is only one unit. And so you can see that relative to the y-axis, you get a much smaller moment, first moment of area than you do for the x-axis. And if you want to use integration to find the first moment of area, you can simply take a small area element. Here we have a small strip. We call that dA. The width of it is 2, the height of it is dy, the distance from the x-axis is y. So the first moment of area with respect to the x-axis is the integral from 2 to 4 of the distance to the area element y times the area element. And if we then integrate that, the area element is 2 times dy. We pull the 2 out, so we integrate y times dy, which is y squared divided by 2. Notice the 2's will then cancel. Then we evaluate from the limits of 2 to 4. We end up with, of course, the exact same result, 12 meters cubed, that we got right here when we calculated it like this. So this is a good introduction of what we mean by the first moment of area and in how we can apply and use it as well. And we'll show you some more examples of it later. But at least that gives you a good footing of what we mean by the first moment of area.